Hello and welcome everybody. We're doing something different. We're doing the right thing by putting a disclaimer at the beginning. We make no money. We make no profits off this. We are simply stating our opinions. And honestly, opinions that large amounts of people actually have but refuse to say. Yeah, we're, we're not really going to be politically correct in these videos. We're oh. also going to be for mature audiences only. Mm. So unless you decide to watch this with your children... Um, don't let I them watch it alone! Ever! Yeah, just don't let your children watch this. Um, we're not appropriate for them. No, um, we're really not. If you watch us and think, oh, my children should hear this, watch it with them and explain that we're horrible people. And, <laughs> you know. Well, we are horribly inappropriate people. And you know what? Well, That's how the world kind of works. If you're too appropriate, then you're not doing it right. Yeah. Political correctness is a suffocating matter that too many people fall prey to. And if you're wondering why we seem to be wearing the same outfits in all our videos, even though they're spread out over one or two days, it's because we're doing a whole lot of recording in one setting that we're then going to bombard my best friend with, or, well, my other best friend with. And hope to God he takes pity on us and edits them. Yeah. Yeah. Which, this leads us to today's topic. Crazy fangirls. We are doing... Uh. Wow! Excuse me! That's so attractive. I'm sorry, my audience. Sorry, no. Yeah. Uh. Oh my god! <laughs> sorry, not sorry! About it. Yeah. Anyways, back on topic. We are doing another video of Crazy Van Girls as we kind of got distracted in the previous video. So, here we go. Crazy Fan Girls. So, as I said in the Get previous together, video. Alex. As I said in the previous video. I've never been so into anything that having a gift related to them was enough to make me cry. Um, I feel like <laughs> if you're that into something, maybe you need a hobby. That doesn't involve said psychosis-inducing thing. Yeah. Um, because... If you're you so know, obsessed with a boy band... You probably shouldn't continue this obsession if it affects your daily life. If you stop eating, if you stop sleeping, if you start picking out wedding dresses and wedding rings because you f are just waiting for that day when that special Zane or whatever the fuck the other one's names are decides to come and propose to you, keep dreaming, bitch. Get a new dream and, and be realistic. And and if you stay in bed for two days without eating or sleeping or peeing because whoever it is got married, um, you have a go problem. see somebody. You have a problem. Mm -hmm. Like, I like Benedict Cumberbatch. I think Benedict Cumberbatch is a great guy. He's a great actor, and he's fucking hilarious. Total sweetheart. He got married. I'm not dying over it. He's actually... I'm. To be honest, Alex, I'm fairly sure that he and his wife just had a baby. Well, I mean, the wife had the baby, obviously, not him. He helped. Well, well I, I'm going to leave my opinions about Benedict Cumberbatch alone, because I like him as an actor, but, um, Voldemort and other creatures <laughs> may have made it to create him. Disclaimer, um, this is not a true fact. We're not saying it's a true fact, it's just he's a sassy little fucker and he doesn't like his face. Which, honestly, yeah. I don't care for Benedict's face much myself. But, like I said, I'm not all about appearances. I'm about attitudes, um, personality is just the word. There you go. Anyways, back to psychotic fangirls. Oh, Lord. Um, Justin oh, here, Bieber here's... is not an appropriate role model. Not only that, but... This has been going on since for, for years, but if you're at a concert, leave your panties on you. Seriously, I'm pretty sure. I'm fairly sure this stars, shit started with Elvis. I'm pretty sure that these rock stars don't want your gross ass underwear. They don't want your fucking pussy stank. They don't want your ball stank. They don't want any no. of your bodily odor. No, and I, they I definitely, mean, definitely don't want your stinky ass shoes. Because seriously, you no. can kill somebody with that shit. And I don't mean to stink. Although no. some people. 
Um, you know, it, it just the things people will do. I, I just I don't. I don't get it. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, it's one thing to kind of be like, oh, you're really cool. I really like your work. I, I'm a really big fan. That's fine, and that's understandable, but screaming at the top of your lungs in their face for them to fuck you and impregnate you is not appropriate. That's creepy as fuck. It's creepy. Um. And, oh, hey, you shouldn't be stalking them. Oh, hey, you shouldn't be trying to get pregnant by somebody that you don't know, especially when you're only, like, 13 years old. Yeah, um, you should still think boys are gross. Mm, Just, I... well, for a little while longer anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> Dude, there's a certain face I make, and when I make it, my chin disappears. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed that while we were recording. So. Anyways. And, and, and I'll, I'll, be, I'll be honest. There are tons of celebrities that I would love to have pictures with. Maybe have, you know lunch with, you know. You want some little more something, brain. something. Well, there's a couple that Jared Leto. Jared Leto. Nice Jared Leto. Something else. Jared Leto. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he could just sing in my ear and it'd be okay. I think I would know. Possibly now, die. See, um, we are making silly speculations and having silly little fake discussions about things that we would like to happen, but we are not being absolutely fucking lutely psychotic about it. We're not screaming, oh, if he doesn't look my way, I'm going to die. Oh, if he doesn't respond to my tweet, I'm going to die. Well, it's that's like, not that fucking important. If you watch a show and you don't like the way it's going, stop don't... Watching. Well, you know, you could stop watching it, but don't harass the actors on Twitter or Facebook because you don't mm. like how it's going. Don't harass the writers because yeah. you don't like how it's going. They have an artistic vision. They're doing this for a reason. It's you may not like their the vision. It's not going to match yours every time. Although Harry Potter mm. was pretty close. And now, I will be honest. There were certain <laughs> shows that fan fiction would have done a better job. ABC <laughs> <laughs> Merlin. Merlin. <laughs> The fucking ending. Don't even get me started. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll give you that one. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. You're going to have to. What is with my chair? Whoa! Whoa! My chair just, like, sank. Oh, I'm sinking. <laughs> I, I am now, like... Uh, I'm literally, like, now... An entire fucking... Three feet lower than I was. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties! Technical difficulties! Shit! Hold on. My chair has gone fucking psycho. Uh, I think I might need to get the other chair. Please ignore the notebooks in the background and the folders and shite. I had an explosion well, earlier of art. Well, while you uh, get the other, um, while you get the other chair, I will entertain our audience. Yeah, <laughs> um, people can see my fucking pajama pants. Oh, Lord. Yay me. You know, Anyways, I'm not really and, sure what the fuck that was. I probably should have turned off my camera for that. You know, and it really ties... Our, our topic at hand ties into <sighs> a topic from an earlier video. Mm -hmm. um, when you post something, it's going to be on the internet forever. Ah, so don't yes. be a creeper. Yeah, Just don't. Don't be a fucking psycho. It's, it's you know, weird. <sighs> And we're you not know. we're not trying to tell you what to do or not to do, but at the same time, yes, we are. We're just giving you helpful hints of what's more appropriate. Guidelines on things that maybe aren't so healthy. Exactly. Um, Guidelines on things that you should just take a seat back, take a step back, take a seat, and breathe. You know, if you have a shrine in your basement of a certain rock star and, you know, Made Maybe out they of have a gum. lock of their hair. It's not exactly healthy. How the fuck do you get the lock of hair anyways is what I want to know. Because that's creepy. And, yeah. Yeah. And I've heard stories. And some of them are really fucking creepy. Ooh, I've creepy. heard some um, shit. I have heard some shit. It is not. Yeah. A, my hair is not working today. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it all boils down to... There's one thing to admire somebody. 
There's one thing to be obsessed with them. And that goes with anybody. If that you're goes obsessed with anybody with somebody, or anything. Anything, anybody, yeah. I mean, I was watching a show the other day about a woman who was in love with her wall. I mean, <gasps> that's a little bit there's a There's a woman who married the Berlin Wall. <laughs> that's a whole other video that's where a whole other of me video. going, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't Dude, there was a gu- there's a guy who's married to like six of his fucking cars. I have seen some shit. The, the, the world is a fucking... Pl- Mm. I don't even want to know how he consummates those marriages. Do you? Dude, they show how he does it. He sticks it in the tailpipe. They literally show him, they show him putting his dick in, like, the gas tanks, openings, the fucking, like, tailpipe. They show him making out with the damn car, kissing it, caressing it, and I'm talking caressing a bitch. I'm like, it's a car. It's a car. It's it's a car. It's a car. (laughs) It's a car. <laughs> it's a car! Stop! <laughs> but yeah, that's just, you know, a little bit of a guide. Because if you catch yourself doing some of these things, maybe you want to take up another hobby, talk to somebody, figure out why you're so obsessed. Because yeah. maybe there's some underlying issue that you're not really... Aware of. Aware of. Or exploring. Or, you know... Maybe you're in denial. I don't know. But Who the fuck knows, but... You probably need some help with it. Um, now my damn trash you know, bag is in the fucking view. Blah, I got caught on a... Sweet mother of monkey tits. But yeah, honestly, we, we, wanted to do, we wanted to do a follow-up video to the last one because it sort of devolved into a clusterfuck of epic proportions, <laughs> and we didn't really touch on our original topic to begin with, so... Well, you just started um, talking yeah. about inappropriate age just in clothes. Yeah, and I kind of stuck my foot in my mouth. Um, <sighs> I do not finger finers of any kind. Okay? If you want to know what that con- comment's about, go back and watch our previous video titled, <laughs> Phoenix Accuses Glitchy uh, Fingering a miner. As in coal miner. As just in coal so miner. You know. Just saying, just saying, just saying, um, just saying. Clarity. It, it was funnier in my head than it turned out to be. Oh, it was fucking hilarious once we all sat down and explained the shit. Yeah, and it, it, yeah, <laughs> I have a problem with not really thinking before I speak. And it just sort of came out. Another thing, back on topic, involving psychotic fanati- uh, fans. If all you do with your life is make scrapbooks or whatever it is these kids do these days, I don't fucking know. <laughs> if all you do is sit there and spend your time focusing on said obsessions and, you know, what your life will be like with them, and your grades are dropping, or you're an adult and your fucking work starts suffering from it, you really do need to get help. You need to see some sort of professional. It's not healthy. Yeah. And, you know, there's a difference between writing some fan fiction every now and again and writing some silly smut here and there. Because, honestly, Phoenix and I, we write fan fiction occasionally. We write, you know, stuff. But that's because we want to because it's fun. And it's just a way to let our creative imaginations out. In a well, yeah, non-destructive manner. And in in my personal experience, after writing articles all day, it's kind of nice to write something that's not, you know... That's completely nonsensical. You know, it's not work-related. It's not, you know, realistic in any stretch of the imagination. It's just nice to get away. Mm-hmm. Get out of my own fucking head. Honestly, exactly. <laughs> I mean... And, and everybody needs that outlet. You know... Everybody needs some sort of outlet, be it creative or what have you. If you just want to write down your thoughts and feelings, it's fine. But there are certain things that you really just shouldn't share with the world. And I don't mean fan fiction. Yeah, and, you know, there's just certain things that you kind of have to be careful with those hobbies and creative outlets. Because sometimes they can edge a little bit on the unhealthy side. Mm-hmm. And then you kind of have to know yourself well enough to rein it back in or see somebody that can maybe help you work through those things. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Now, there are certain settings where being a fanatic or being crazy and loud is okay. Certain comic cons or anime conventions or what have you will have certain actors, writers, voice actors, or movie actors, or whatever, that want you to be loud and crazy. That's fine if they're asking you to do this. If they, you know, do that thing where, everybody loud, blah, 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 then get loud, get crazy. But keep it to that situation. Don't and keep your shirt on. Oh my god, keep your clothes on. Keep your fucking clothes on, please. But if you're in in some sort of press junket or what have you, and you're supposed to be shutting the fuck up, shut the fuck up. And don't have your phone on texting. Or, Seriously, yeah. you could have you could have your phone on to take video. That's fine. Well, yeah, but I mean, but like, don't, don't sit there and text or play some goddamn video games on full volume. Don't play video games at all. Pay attention to what the fuck the person who's presenting is saying. And pay the fuck attention to where you're walking. Yeah. Because I almost got run over when I was on vacation by a guy walking with his phone in front of his face, not paying attention to where the fuck he was walking. So pay the fuck attention. Also, for the old ladies of the world, stop taking up the entire goddamn aisle in a fucking store. That goes for their way. I will okay. run you the fuck over. If you're in an aisle, it's not a good place to stop with your entire posse of 9,000 little <laughs> munchkins <sighs> and talk. It's not the place. Pull off to the side. <laughs> you know... Let somebody pass. If you see me coming... If you're going down an aisle, and you're going down the exact middle of it, and you're taking up every fucking inch that you can, there's a fucking problem. It's called pick a goddamn lane and make sure it's the one that's not in going into oncoming traffic. Pedestrian or otherwise. And don't walk backwards at all. <gasps> I'm not saying don't walk backwards. At all. You know, in certain cases, I'm saying... Don't walk backwards at all, because you're not looking where the fuck you're going, and if you hit me, I'm going to be fucking pissy, and I'm going to get all up in your shit. Exactly. And, God for fucking bid, you hit one of my kids. Because, holy shit. I don't care if it was an accident. I don't care if my kid's at fault. You're the fucking adult in this situation, and I'm going to fucking rape your face. Or, well, not really well, rape it, but obviously I'm going to fucking eat it. Right. And here's two things. If you're walking backwards, it wasn't an accident. You're a moron. You're secondly, backwards. Secondly, if you're walking backwards and you hit me, and then you act like I'm the one at fault, go fuck yourself. Mm. <laughs> I, I mean... I have just as much of a right to be in that aisle as mm -hmm, you do. Mm -hmm. And I, you don't see me backing up everywhere. I know my limitations. I know when I cannot see what's behind me. Mm -hmm. I prefer to move where I can see straight ahead. So if you're taking up the whole aisle or walking backwards, I'm liable to scream at you and say, turn the fuck around. <laughs> exactly. Or get, out, get the fuck out of my way because... <laughs> There's only... Real quick interruption, in case anybody is wondering what just happened in this fucking video recording, I figured out how to get my friend Les off to one side, and, or my cohort here, uh, less off to one side and more... I was editing shit while we were talking. Oopsie. Uh, awesome. See? Progress in motion. Um, <laughs> it's, it's one of those things where there's only so much... That I can be nice and polite. There is only so take... much fucks to give in any given day. Yeah. And if you use and... all my fucks by blocking a damn aisle, I will run you over. And I try to be polite and I try to be nice. More but often politeness than and not. niceties only get you so far. And if I get to the point where it's getting me nowhere, the bitchy side's gonna come out and you're mm -hmm. probably not gonna like it. Mm hmm. If you're going to stand there, and you hear me say, excuse me, and you fucking look at me like I'm bothering you, that's the quickest way to piss me off. 
Because I've been oh. polite. I was polite. And you're still in my way, and you just gave me an, a stink eye. <laughs> Bitch. And, it's on. And that's like, if you're on your phone in the grocery store, and you're talking about something woefully inappropriate, mm-hmm. don't get mad at me when I say something related to your conversation. Because we can all hear you. And You're not you're, fooling anybody! No, and if you're talking about some sort of secretion or medical <gasps> issue you're having, I'm going to tell you, maybe you should see a doctor for that. Mm. Because, realistically, you should. And B, I'm trying to tell you that you that need to get off your you. phone and have this conversation in private. Exactly. Because there's a time and a place for everything, and that's not the place. Grocery shopping is not the appropriate time to be on a conversation, a loud ass phone call with whoever the fuck you're talking to while you discuss genital diseases. <laughs> Gross things. <laughs> you know. If your titty is turning black and your nipple is dangling by a few threads of skin, you need to go see a doctor, not be grocery shopping like a dumbass. <laughs> if your vagina has nasty blue discolorations coming out of it, bitch, you are fucking dying. Go to a goddamn hospital and stop grocery shopping. If your dick and balls look like they just went through a fucking blender, you need to go to a goddamn doctor. Not be grocery shopping. If you have a fucking growth on your penis that starts talking and singing the goddamn fucking Inaugural, I don't even know. Uh, I lost it. I lost it. If your fucking dick has a growth on it that starts singing the fucking Charleston, what is it? Hell, ragtime! Ragtime. That's it. If your dick has a growth on it that starts singing the ragtime gal song that that little fucking frog does from Looney Tunes, you've got a fucking problem and no, top, no amount of top hats or groceries is going to fix it. Get to a fucking hospital. Stop talking about the shit on the phone. I don't care how talented of a voice your fucking wart has. Get to a goddamn hospital. No! Get again. Not appropriate for children. Not appropriate for children. Um, not really at all. Um, We're gonna also, <laughs> okay, go ahead. also, in case you wondered, none of this is rehearsed ahead of time. No. This is all... In case um, you couldn't tell! Yeah, this is all stream of consciousness, mm -hmm. improv, everything. We're just doing whatever the fuck we think of. So, Which yeah. is why we're going to end the video here, because we are at 22 minutes and 50 seconds, so we're going to say bye-bye! Bye! Stay sexy and subscribe. Subscribe, goddammit, down below.